E. George, some Kentuckians could soon be allowed to use medical marijuana legally. Governor Bashir signed two controversial executive orders this afternoon. Gladys Bautista breaks down who they will affect and what the governor's hope is going forward. Governor Bashir signing two executive orders to decriminalize the use of medical marijuana. While he says it is no substitute for a law, it is a huge step to help Kentuckians who need it. For veteran Jared Bonvel, who suffers from PTSD, he can't measure just how much medical marijuana has helped him. Change of life that is just absolutely astounding. I know veterans that have gotten off of heroin, meth, any drug you can think of and have turned their lives around with the responsible use of medical cannabis. To me, it's a wonder drug. Governor Bashir signed two executive orders Tuesday to help others with certain conditions like Bonvelt's. Beginning next year, Kentuckians diagnosed with one of 21 medical conditions will be legally allowed to have up to eight ounces of medical marijuana if it's bought in a state where it is legal. Those conditions include cancer, epilepsy, and sickle cell anemia. Today's action means that Kentuckians suffering from these chronic and terminal conditions will soon be able to get the help they need without living in fear of being charged with a misdemeanor. The second order regulates Delta 8, which has lower levels of THC. While it's not a controlled substance, the order makes sure it's sold and packaged safely. The governor hopes his executive orders spur change in the General Assembly. We need legislation to allow for the um, cultivation and purchase and sale uh, right here in Kentucky. Uh, and what that will do is probably create a better uh, system. A system that still does not yet exist, which is why state leaders believe this will do for now. Governor's compassionate action moves Kentucky a step closer to the rest of America in terms of access to medical cannabis. In Frankfurt, Gladys Bautista, WOKY News. Now the executive orders take effect at the start of the new year. Some Republicans were quick to criticize the governor's actions. Attorney General Daniel Cameron accused Bashir of ruling by decree instead of by the law. He said that he will review both orders. Representative Jason Nemus has been a supporter of legalizing medical marijuana, but he called the governor's move an unprecedented power grab and urged him to work with lawmakers on a plan. Kentucky.